So, hey guys, Chaozu here with another team for Kolo Ukiku, and this time it's a pretty cool team. Very different from any other teams I've done, but that's just how it goes when you use V1 Kata 6 Plus. It's a very different kind of legend, and it actually works really well for this. So yeah, the start is going to be basic. We'll be stalling a bit for in the Neko special. It gets interesting when we get to the Luffy stage. So yeah, to talk a bit about the team, like... The idea with it is basically that we use the Kolokomo and the Inuneko against the Luffy stage. And then for the Okiku stage, we have We Want Katakuri for the delay plus delay conditional. We have Vibebeka for the color affinity. And Croc has the ore boost. And they also deals with the resilience. So everything is covered. But that means we don't have an attack boost for last stage. But thankfully, we have ways to work around that. So the only unaccounted unit for them is the Nami, and yeah, she serves two purposes. The first is to, or three purposes actually. First, she removes, she changes the block slots to matching. She also has the hatch and support to give us recovery orbs, which we need to deal with the hunger. And she also removes three turns of decreased chain, which actually turned out to be pretty damn important to get this team to work, so that's nice. But yeah, we're going to stall, uh, stay a few turns here. I've enjoyed using Vivibeck as captain lately. Like, as sub, they're often like a uh, crutch. Like, you rely so much on their swap and everything. And it's so good. So as a cap, you still have that amazing swap. But you also have to <laughs> work around her captain ability, which is based on... Color affinities you want to hit with type effectiveness. But yeah, we want Kata and we're Becca. It's an interesting pair actually. Like, you only want one of them each. You don't want two we want Katakuri normally. You don't want two we want we Becca. So it's interesting with them because they do a lot together. So you have a lot of room to work with as a sub. And yeah, I really love how this stage worked out. Like, as you can see, Nami also resists the special bind, so that's another thing she does, removes some special bind. Rebecca has this free-to-play bar to support, I really hope you have it, super good. Which gives damage reduction and a heal, and this helps us reach the HP threshold for next stage. Next stage. And Kolokomo we will be able to remove the remaining 4 turns of damage threshold. She also has the Flumpe support, another amazing support I've used a lot recently which will add the damage we need to take this Luffy out. And she also heals, so we are at full HP. Also helps us reach the threshold. In the next special now, just for the attack in color affinity, super good. And they, they are also both Psy and Strength, so for next stage they can be a Strength unit, so very useful for that too. So yeah, no problem to take out the Luffy here. So yeah, now the game plan is we have nothing to remove the bind, so we're going to stall one turn, like it doesn't really matter. I will probably do more teams that stalls a turn because as long as as long as you reach the HP threshold, you will have the HP needed to live on attack, so you don't have to limit yourself to bring something to reduce the bind, and there's like no real reason to do that either. So yeah, Okiku doesn't do that much damage. This doll also helps us get ready to remove the decreased chain, which is useful. But yeah, this turn is where we do most of the specials. Nami removes everything, gives us RCV orbs, cut the special to set up the delay conditional, and also makes all slots matching. Rebecca swap to get that chain lock. Color affinity for two turns, which is important. 
because we're not going to kill this turn, we just want to eat two recovery orbs and get the guaranteed delay, which we'll easily get. So as you see, all we lack now for this, this turn is remove the resilience, ore boost, and attack boost, and croc does all of that thanks to buggy support. So yeah, this team worked out very well, but I do not suggest to run it. I needed the uh, 6 plus LB plus V1 Kata to get this to work. So yeah, it's not a good team that's and it's just a cool team. So thanks for watching. See you next time.